Okay, so what I am doing here is I um, have all the burlap and I just created a little pattern um, with just regular um, printer paper and I pinned it to the burlap and I'm just cutting it out. Um, I was doing it at first without pinning it down and just kind of freehand doing it and then it is easier to cut it out when it's pinned to the burlap. Um, it takes a little bit more time because you have to pin it down every time. Um, but it's a lot easier to cut. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just cutting enough out right now to spell happy birthday. Um, and then I, you know, might do, um, you, you've seen the other ones where you can like, they'll be shaped like a triangle. I might do something like that to go on his high chair that say one, but for now I'm doing this and I'm just gonna spell out happy birthday. Okay, and I highly recommend that you iron out if you have any um, like folds or creases in your burlap. Um, um, I tried, I did one where I didn't iron it out and even though I was pretty careful it wasn't even and I'm, I'm not trying to make these perfect but um, yeah definitely iron it out. Um, it'll make it easier for cutting out um, the different letters. Yeah it'll, it'll make it a lot easier. Okay so I have enough cut out here to spell out happy birthday and um, what I'm going to do next is take them all individually and just re-iron them because there's a few, you know, um, creases here and there. So I'm just going to iron them all just to make sure they're as flat as possible. Okay, so I have all of the um, just different pieces cut out for each letter. And I ironed them just to make sure everything's flat again. Um, and then next, what you want to do is go ahead and, um, what I just did is I printed off some stencils. And I may be regretting it when I <laughs> cut it out that I chose this font. Um, but I've seen it before where you can just, um, if you want, you can just write directly on the um, panel. You can just maybe use like a Sharpie. Um, but I'm going to try to use the stencil and some paint and see how that goes. Um, so I'll put in the description box the website that I used to print up the stencils and now I'm going to be cutting them out. Okay, so um, I have the stencil cut out and then what you do next is I, I took a piece of cardboard and um, taped, see the burlap is um, taped to the cardboard and then the stencil on top of that. I did put some tape on this like these different areas here just so it helps um, keep everything flat and I have um, just these sponge paint brushes and I'm going to use some acrylic paint so that is the next step okay so I've started doing the um, painting the stencils and I went ahead and I took a some cardboard and I taped the burlap to the cardboard and then um, the stencil onto the burlap and I've been using just like this type of a, um, a brush and a little goes a long way and I found that it's easiest to buy I mean I taped on the inside parts too um, just to keep it as flat as possible but as I'm um, painting I you know hold the, it together like this just to make sure it stays put so that's what I'm doing. Um, if I, I found that if I, it's best if I take it off before it's completely dry or else it's been like um, drying to the cardboard, which is really not a big deal. I just have to peel it off of the cardboard. Um, but here are a few of them I have. These ones are dry. I'm just trying to hang them up. So um, yeah. Coming along, there's a, this is the first one I did. I had a little too much paint, so you can see there's a few flaws, but I'm gonna just go over, um, take a Sharpie and touch it up. But that one turned out really well. The D, there's not any issues with the D, and um, I have a few more over there. So yeah, um, so definitely don't, it's better if you don't put a ton of paint and just, you know, a little goes a long way. So that's where I'm at right now. Okay, so all of the letters are dry. I just laid it out here so I could take a look at them. Um, yeah, so I still need to touch it up. Um, some of them you can see where I um, 
did a little too much paint and it was a little thick and then it came through like you see on the H right there. So <laughs> since, whoa, sorry, Chase is on my back. He's teething right now. Um, anyway, so uh, since I did black, I'm gonna take a Sharpie and just touch up if any of them have some spots any touching up. Some of them, the D turned out perfect. <laughs> um, some of them turned out really nice. Um, and then, so I really like it overall. The only thing that I'm not too thrilled about is the eye. It looks a little big to me. And I mean, I just followed the stencil and that was the size that printed for the eye. I tried to scale it down. Um, so I may end up redoing the eye. We'll see. If not, I don't know. It'll still look really nice. You can see that it says happy birthday. And that's where I'm at now. So I'm going to go ahead and touch up. <laughs> touch up any areas that need um, touching up with a sharpie okay so what I'm doing next is I am taking some Mod Podge and I have just like a, another paintbrush and I'm putting it all over all of the letters each individual banner <clears throat> um, I've, I've touched up everything with the, a Sharpie too, so any of the areas that kind of looked like they were, like if I had patches where it was, um, you know, more paint, I just touched it up with a Sharpie. And so I'm doing this, I wasn't going to do this, but then because burlap frays so easily, um, and I'm planning on using this banner you know for more than just once because it's, it's a happy birthday banner i'm going to do this mod podge everywhere it'll uh, make it more stiff and keep it from fraying um, now if you want you could also just go with the sewing machine and sew around the border but honestly i thought that, that would take me a little bit longer so i'm just mod podging and i i kind of like the idea of giving it like a stiffer um, texture so that's what I am doing and um, I'm just lying them flat to dry um, you could hang it up see this one frayed a lot so it's, it's getting nice and stiff though um, so this should help hold everything together so there's not any more fraying so that is the next step and I'm using um, the matte finish Okay, so I've Mod Podged all of the letters. Um, these ones are still drying, so you can still see um, that there's patches of white. But here's one that's dry, and so you can tell that it dries clear, and it gives it, <clears throat> it makes it a lot uh, more stiff. So I don't have to worry about, you know, this fraying any further. But it's very stiff now. And you can still bend it, but it's it's not like <laughs> here's some of the other burlap. The it's see well, I don't know if you can really tell by looking at this, but it bends so easily versus now it's it's a lot stiffer. Anyway, so that's where I am at. Um, all the letters are dry. Well, a few of them are drying, and looks like that. So next, what we will be doing is <clears throat> I'm going to figure out how to hang them on to, um, I'm going to use hemp or jute, I'm not sure which I have on hand, and hang them. Okay, so all of them are dry now, and I am taking some scissors, and I'm just trimming off any, like, if there's any strays or anything that needs to, like this area, I'll probably... Maybe tidy up a bit, but it's all, it's not going to unravel now. It's nice and, and, um, stiff, so that's good. It's not going to fray up, um, but I still think I want to, um, just trim it up. So what I, I think I'm going to do for the next one, the, um, the one for his high chair, I think I might actually cut out all the pieces and, um, then Mod Podge them before I, um, before I do the letters. Because when I was doing the letters, I was taping um, the burlap down on the cardboard, and then when I pulled the tape off, that 
you know, made some of this fray up which is fine because you know then I ended up mod podging it anyway but I think what I'm going to do is um, cut it mod podge then do the letters I don't know if I need to mod podge over that so I'll let you know how that goes for the other um, signs but this is what we have so far for happy birthday I couldn't get it to all fit on the table right now but um, yeah so I'm pretty happy with it Okay, so I have all of the letters here. Everything is dry and it's been Mod Podged. And what I'm going to do next is I have some jute. This is what I'm using, heavy duty jute. And I went ahead and made a loop. So I have a loop at the end to hang it. And I'm gonna, I have my hot glue gun heating up over there. And I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing the letters onto the jute. Okay, so I'm gluing the jute to the letters and what you want to do is take your glue gun, just go in a straight line um, and don't make it too thick or else it'll go through the burlap. Okay, and then now I'm spacing them about about an inch. Trying to lay it flat. And then take your glue gun and use um, this little stand part and you can press it down so you don't get glue all over your fingers. like that and then it doesn't have to be perfectly spaced from the top because we're going to go back and trim up the top and the edges once we're done gluing all the letters down okay so i have all of the letters are glued on and what i'm doing now i'm taking my scissors and i'm just trimming up the tops see i still need to do these ones over here so i'm just trimming everything up right now and then i'm gonna tie off the loop on this end Okay, so um, you don't have to trim like how I'm trimming everything up just to have neater edges. Um, you could leave it frayed like this. It, it still looks really nice, um, but since not all of them were really frayed, I'm just trimming them just so everything's uniform. But um, yeah, you could always just leave it like that. It looks nice too, I think. Okay, so here is the finished product. It is, this is what it looks like in the daytime, so it's getting a lot of light right now, which makes the letters not as dark, but it, I think it looks nice how the light goes through the, the burlap. So that's what it looks like. Let's see if I can back up a little bit. I think it turned out really nice. Okay, so this is what it looks like when we don't have a bunch of daylight you can really read everything well so that is the banner and i'm really happy with how it turned out and we're going to be able to use it every year for whoever is having a birthday it's very generic and it was pretty simple to make So this is how the one I made for his high chair turned out. I ended up freehanding this. Um, I made a stencil, but I um, the letters were a lot smaller and I just kind of copied um, what the font looks like and made stencils. And I did kind of like this tealy blue color and I'm tying on just some fabric. And this will go on his high chair. Okay, so I just want to show you guys another little burlap banner I made for the party. I um, just took some felt and I, I did the what I did with the painted one. I mod podged everything and then I just made like a little raccoon with some felt and then some toadstools. I had some fabric and felt, um, a little bear, um, another toadstool, and... A little bunny so yeah have fun and be creative with it